Hi, Katie here. I have been in love with spaghetti squash for a while and tried multiple tricks um, making it. Tried boiling it, tried microwaving it, tried baking it, cutting it in half. Um, there's a few different techniques out there and I finally found one that is super simple and I love it. It's pretty much flawless. So I'm going to go through the steps with you today and hopefully give you a few pointers and hopefully you can become a spaghetti squash lover like me. Okay, this is the best way I have found to do spaghetti squash and those of you that know me know I am a fanatical about spaghetti squash. Um, just get a really sharp knife. This one's really nice because it's pointed. I think it might be a fillet knife, but I've never used it for anything else. So, if you have something like this, but I've also used um, a paring knife like this one. So, you can do that too. So, just something that's pointed and sharp. Don't try to do this with a dull knife because it is would be dangerous. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to vent it. And I'm going to see if I can hold this somehow so you can see it. You're gonna vent it and just poke holes, okay? Now normally I do this with two hands, so it makes it easier, but you just poke it in, get down, you can feel it, it gets, you go in and then it feels kind of softer. That's when you know you've gotten down into the center. That's important because you want to vent it, otherwise it's gonna explode and that would be a mess. So you just do that all the way around. As you can see, I've done three holes here. Um, and I've done some holes over here and I'm gonna continue to do this. I need to get this little side. But you know, you don't have to put a million holes. I do, you know, they have these ridges, some of them. Some of them are more smooth, but this one is really nice because you can kind of say like two to three holes per little ridge. Um, that's kind of how I measure it. And I just kind of do it sporadically. I don't want them all in the same place. And then we'll go to step two. Before we go to step two, I want to show you how I normally do this with two hands. Now you see, I have it with one hand, I'm holding it. And I'm holding it pretty far. I don't want to cut that bottom hand. I'm just doing a little knife safety here. <laughs> and then I will grab, I'll hold it with one hand. And then with this hand, I'm putting it in. Okay, and then I hold it and see if I can do a magic trick with my phone. Don't do this at home, children. Let's see. Okay, can you see? Then you kind of wiggle it, but notice my finger right there, that's the dull end. So this thumb is out of the way. It's not gonna get hit by this sharp end. This thumb is out of the way. This finger is here, okay? So then I kind of wiggle it out, okay? I know that was not the best video <laughs> cinematography there, but it's hard to do it when you only have two hands and you need three, but that's basically how it is. I'm gonna finish doing this one and then we will get to, to part two. Okay, guys, I am completely done with my poking holes. Now, I don't like to keep these little stickers on, but this little bugger, I don't know, they use like, I don't know, super glue or gorilla glue or something so it doesn't really matter it is going to be on the outside we don't eat that part anyway so it's all good so what I'm doing is I have a baking sheet here and just some parchment paper you want to put something down because there will be just some liquids that come out of it all right um, just lay them there, no big deal. I have my oven preheated at 375, as you can tell. So I'm gonna put them in the middle rack at 375 for 45 minutes. At that time, we will flip and that will be the next section. Okay, it is time for part two, or part three, I guess, of our little cooking lesson here about spaghetti squash. The timer just went off, so we're actually going to set it again for 45 minutes. I know it seems like a lot of time, but you'd be amazed at how much you can get done in 45 minutes. So I will go and, you know, take a shower and then it'll be 
Um, by the time I finish my hair after the shower, it'll be 45 minutes. And so I'm like, awesome, okay, go flip the squash, you know? So it really goes by fast and it gives you an opportunity to not have to be sitting there and watching the timer, watching the clock, watching the squash. Okay, so we're looking at them. They look like normal spaghetti squash. They are a little bit more shiny because they are letting off some of their water. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna flip them. You are definitely gonna wanna use your handy gloves for this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put on my gloves. So in case you haven't guessed, I don't have my makeup on yet. That's why you don't get to see my face today. But you know, maybe later. All right, I need to go take the shower in the next 45 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna put you down, pause ya, and I'm gonna flip these baits. Okay, so as you can tell, they are still, you know, there's a little bit of a brown thing right here where they were laying, so they're cooking up nicely. They smell delicious. Like part of me wants to cut into them now, but they would not be near as yummy. So we're just gonna slide them back in there for another 43.3 seconds and I will see you soon. Okay, so we have just pulled these out of the oven. They are soft. They're, you know, not super soft, but you can tell I can kind of squeeze them. They're hot, 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 um, but they're much softer. You can see, if you can see that than they normally are. Now, you could cut through these right now, but only if you want a face full of steam, which I do not. <laughs> you would just need to be very careful if you wanted to go ahead and cut through these. Um, I usually just let them cool for a little bit. Um, I just got out of the shower, like I said I was going to. I'm gonna go finish my makeup, and then we will cut into them and see what happens. Okay, so I got out of the shower, got all prettied up, let my um, spaghetti squash rest. They're still pretty warm, you know, they retain a lot of heat, so you're still going to want to be careful, but they are cool to the touch, so I'm not going to worry about having heating pads or what are they called, um, mit hot mitts, I don't know. Whatever, I'm not worried about getting burned, we'll just say that. So, we're ready to dig in. I'm so excited. I love spaghetti squash, have I mentioned that? Okay, so you see we have this on the bottom just like on the top, and that's totally okay. It's just where it was resting, not a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go through and we're gonna just try and see. Yeah, we can kind of cut out this little, this little guy. He's a pain in the hiney, let me tell ya. And if you can just get him rid of him, he makes life easier. So, he's gone. Goodbye. All right, so now, did you see how easy that is? Have you ever tried to cut a, a fresh, non-cooked one? Like, it's like trying to put a knife through a brick. So hard. So that was like butter, love it. So now what we're doing, I kind of feel like I'm on Grey's Anatomy right now. We make an incision in the center. How easy is this? This makes every other way like that I've tried just feel ridiculous. Because literally, I've tried everything. Like better, do you see that? Okay. And I'm just cutting through. And voila. Okay, so it's still, I'm gonna just put this little guy away. It still has all the yuck in there. Well, that's the beauty of the parchment because I just put the yuck over here and then I wrap it up and throw it away and makes less mess. And also, have you, you know when you usually are trying to clean out this whenever it's raw, it's kind of difficult, you know, those little strands like to stick, but this just really easily comes out, um, makes life way easier. And because I let it cool, now if I would have done this straight out of the oven, you're talking hot, because let me tell you, I've tried to do it, not this way, but other ways I've tried to just go ahead, and, I'm tough, I don't need to, heat doesn't bother me, and I've tried to go ahead and scrape it. Don't do that, it's hot, let it rest, just be patient, give yourself some time. Okay, so 
I've got all the seeds. And you know when you've hit the rat, all of it, because see there's this little dark spot right there. Can you see that? There's that little dark. So that just means that's some of the yucky. But once you get the kind, all of the kind that has a different color, you've got all the yucky out. That's it, that's all you do. Then, oh, I forgot to grab a fork. What you do is you just grab a fork. I like to get a, a big fork. If you try to get a small fork, you're gonna be doing this forever. So I do a pretty substantial fork. And look at that, spaghetti, mm -hmm. delicious. You can do so much with this. Um, one of my favorite ways, I just put a little olive oil and butter, or butter, not and butter, um, and salt and pepper, done. So good. Uh, I've made a pizza crust with it. I think I've posted that recipe. If I haven't, I'll post it. Um, but I also make like a macaroni and cheese with it, baked spaghetti. Um, I even made Alfredo the other night because I was dying for Alfredo. And that's not something that I crave, but I just wanted it. And so my husband was like, babe, you know you're being better than that. And I hate it when he's right. Don't you hate it when your husband's right and you have to admit it? Um, so I was like, okay, fine. So spaghetti squash one, but I made Alfredo sauce and some rotisserie chicken. And oh, it was so good. I did not even miss the pasta. So I just get a giant bowl and I'll roast three or four of these, just depending on how many they have and what the price is. Sometimes you can get them for like 99 cents a pound. They're 99 cents a pound. I'm getting four or five of these puppies. Um, because you can roast them, you can even freeze them. If you freeze them, you're gonna wanna make sure they totally cool, and I would try to get all of the liquid off that you can, um, because they do hold a lot of liquid. Um, this is a really good one, because you can get almost all of this yumminess off of here. Um, I'm so excited, I can barely speak. Look at that. Now, the spaghetti squash will let off liquid. That's okay, just drain it off. In fact, a lot of recipes, like the pizza recipe that I have, you have to drain it. And so sometimes I even will put it into a colander like this and let it naturally drain it and squeeze it off. That is it, that's all there is to it. Delicious pasta substitute, so yummy, so many options. I've even heard of making it into like a dessert. I haven't done that, but I'm willing to try it. Um, totally clean shell, was so easy, way less mess. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, wrap it up, throw it away, all in one, less mess, easy, delicious, dinner's done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my crazy photography. Hopefully, hep, la, la, la. thankfully, my mom was able to do this last section so I could have use of both of my hands. Um, I don't know that I could have done this one one-handed. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time I get a random thought to make a video. Thanks!